it's Addy. Welcome back. It's so good to see you again. So I want to do a little update before I get to the main point of this video. Um, this is the Windsor shirt I showed you guys in the last video, but this is me actually trying it on. And just look how feminine this is. It's so pretty. I think it's like my favorite shirt at the moment. But I remember mentioning this. Let me open it up. This jacket that I was inspired by Lisa and when I wore this, this is exactly how it laid on my body. My friend told me I looked like Spongebob and I could not agree more. So yeah, if you already have really broad shoulders like me, I have really broad shoulders. Like that's one thing that people would point out about me. This <laughs> will accentuate that tenfold. So. If you have really petite, like sloping shoulders, then this is for you. But if you're like me, stay the fuck away from this jacket. It is very unflattering and it just looks so top heavy on me. That's definitely gonna be returned. But anyways, I want I have some exciting news that I am back into customizing dolls. So if you guys have watched, if you two, one person have watched my old videos, you guys know that I was working on this adventurer boy. I finished the hair, I got the outfits and all of that, but I didn't customize the anything on the head. Like I didn't do the eyes, I didn't carve the face, and I didn't do the back plate. Well, you guys, I am actually carving the face now. And I've done like a few sessions, so I want to show you how far I have come so far. I don't know if you guys can really see the details. Yeah, hopefully you guys can see the details, but I'm actually trying to make the cheeks look chubby this time. And I like really like BB Blythe company says she likes really quirky looking dolls. And I also like quirky looking dolls by that. I mean like ugly cute dolls. I don't really go for that really baby cute aesthetic that everyone's going for. And this time around, I'm not looking as much at reference pictures. I'm just kind of like going at at it with my own imagination and that's what comes with a lot of practice. In the beginning you're gonna be like you're not really gonna know what to do so you have to constantly look at multiple different pictures to kind of know what to carve but now it's just like I'm just making it the way I want to make it and I really love it and I'm not, I'm not anywhere near being done but just carving at it a little bit each day is just so exciting for me. And now that I'm out of my depression, I really do carve a little bit of it like every day. And I'm also reading books now and I really love Colleen Hoover. I don't know if I have mentioned it yet on this channel, but I was introduced to Colleen Hoover from Michelle Yeji Choi and I read It Ends With Us which is about domestic violence. And the sequel actually came out last month, but I'm reading her story Confess right now. So I'm gonna finish that first and then read the sequel, which is It Starts With Us. And I realized by reading her books, I'm really into emotional and relationship stories. I don't really like action page turners. Like I gave James Patterson a chance and yes, it is really easy to read and it's super quick paced, like from beginning to end, but it's just, it doesn't keep me engaged. I like really heartfelt stories. So Colleen Hoover is just perfect for that. And the good thing about Colleen Hoover is that from the very first page, the very first chapter, she grabs your attention. For example, I read recently The Challenge by Danielle Steele and she is someone, well I've only read one of her stories and I didn't even finish it, but what I realized with her stories is that she is very slow building. She likes to develop the characters for a really long time and like the main conflict of the of the story, the challenge, them getting stuck on the mountain wasn't even that long. It's actually mostly about relationships and well relationship, like family relationships of multiple different characters. It doesn't just focus on two people. So I got bored with it. I already kind of figured out what happened to the kids already. She, you figure out what happens to the kids like a little bit past halfway of the book and then the rest is just like finishing up everyone's family story and whatnot. And I was just like, it's it's not 
keeping me engaged enough. So I really like Colleen Hoover because she keeps me engaged. The buildup of the characters and it's just so good. Like I, I also read her book Verity and that was really good from start to finish. There's a twist. It's like a thriller. So I really recommend it. Ends with Us and Verity. And that's like her two most popular books that everyone's probably read from her. But if you guys have not read it, especially if you guys are girls, please go read her books. They are really good. But oh, anyways, the main point of this video was that I got a few furniture pieces from Hobby Lobby and Ross. So I basically did this whole room without spending that much money. I actually went to really discounted places like Ross, like that's Hobby Lobby and I got a bunch of that stuff on sale. If you guys haven't read my room video, which was like, I don't know, three or four videos ago. These lights are from Walmart. This bed was already here. That desk, wait, what is that? Like a vanity table thingy was from Hobby Lobby for like 50 bucks. That chair was from TJ Maxx for 30 bucks like many, many years ago. So everything in this room, I tried to save a lot of money. And so yeah, but let me just get into the video. I finally got a shelf and I'll just show you guys. All right, so this mirror was already at this house. I don't know, my husband had it or his ex renters or something. Left it here because it actually had like something to hold it and it broke, so I don't know. It was this mirror, if you set it on the floor, it's a little too low. So I had to get something elevated and I got this bench from Hobby Lobby. Let's see how much it was. So all their furniture is always 30% off. So it was 30% off of this, but honestly, the price of this stool went down to $89, not 99. So 30% off, I got it for, I think $60 and yet, $60 is kind of pricey for this small bench, but I think it's because it's made out of real wood. Because when I was lifting this, it was pretty heavy. But yeah, this elevates my mirror just enough so that if I ever want to show you guys like outfit videos, you can see it much better than before. Before, it was like this high and it like cut off my head, but now you can just see everything. Oh my god, Asian house slippers. Let's take that off real quick. But if I ever want to show you guys like my shoes, I can just put it my foot up I can now put things here so if I ever want to do like my makeup I could put my makeup here and do my makeup and yeah it, this bench just completely literally elevated my mirror and made it more practical but oh my god it looks so messy right there the main thing that I want to talk about is this really small shelf honestly it's a little too small but it was only $55.99 and I saw this little tiny little nick like I don't even think it's a big deal but I brought it up to the cashier I'm like um there's a little bit of a nick can I get like a little discount and he was actually like yeah totally I'll give you 10% off but the only thing is is that if I give you 10% off you can't return it and I'm like once I buy this like I'm not going to return it anyway, so I decided to agree with those terms, and I only paid like $54. And that is a huge steal because these little shelf things, even at um, Hobby Lobby, have gone up a lot. So I just decided to go with it. It was like pretty much a steal. So now I can finally put up... No, I don't know if it's in this box. I can finally put up the other decorations I used to have in my old set. If you look at my very, well, not very old, it's not like I've been doing this for a while, but if you look at my older videos, I had a lot of spooky decorations on this shelf and I couldn't display it for the longest time because I had no shelf to display it on because I gave the shelf to my son. So I'm gonna do a little video of me putting everything together and I'll show you the final result. Alright, so this is what it looks like, and this I think I got at TJ Maxx a while ago, like last year, because of course it's a pug and it reminded me of Miss Peanut, but here is it from, oh, by the way, I also got this from Hobby Lobby for $13.99, but it was 50% off because 
the wall decorations were 50% off at the week for that week. But I feel like every other week they switch off. So one week tabletop decorations will be 50% off. And then the next week wall decorations are 50% off and they always just switch off. So definitely go and check it out. God, I'm out of breath. Anyways, so let's go from top to bottom. And that's what I did. So I'm going to hang these two pictures up, which were also from my old set, on that wall right there. And I'm going to be using command script because I don't believe in damaging walls. Okay, so I didn't have enough, so I figured I would just cut them in half. And these are supposed to hold 12 pounds, so I'm pretty sure half will be enough. So what you're supposed to do is take all these wall hanger things off so that these can be flush with the picture on the wall. So take those off, stick two of these on to the picture first, and then peel the back off and stick it onto the wall. I feel like that looks good. So you're actually supposed to take the pictures off and let the stickers set on the wall for one hour before you hang them back up. But yeah, I feel like this side of the room looks a lot less plain now and I love it. All right, well that concludes this video. If you guys were interested in seeing more doll stuff, I am back to doing it. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.